Let's welcome Paul on stage. Yeah. Paul Dragcescu of Seattle, Washington. Thanks, Kurt. You really are from Seattle, right? We really yeah. did fly you, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. That's true. OK, good. Um, so this is called Snowflake Icosahedron Ornament. Now, of course, I know what an icosahedron is. <laughs> 20 triangular faces, 30 edges, and 12 vertices. But <laughs> what made you decide, oh, Christmas ornament, ah, icosahedron, that must be it. Um, yeah, so I actually designed a different icosahedron uh, out of wood, and um, I, uh, so my family, it's a long story, my family designs these, um, the system of kind of shapes, interlocking shapes, and we do it out of paper. And Is that a business? Uh, it used to be, we used to just go to um, fairs and um, cut them out of paper and just play with kids. They're kind of like huh. a geometric construction set. Um, and it's kind of an educational tool, mostly. How um, cool. So, but it's, it's slowly becoming a business because we've had such uh, positive feedback. So, um, This is how entrepreneurs are born, yeah. right here. <laughs> and, and was this, so, so you, you, you had that, that leg up in terms yeah, of Yeah, so I was already designing these kind of uh, geometric things. And uh, I was down in uh, the Bay Area using this 3D printer at this uh, hacker space there called Tech Shop. And uh, I saw this, uh, this challenge, and I, I thought, hmm, maybe I could just uh, make all these faces snowflakes instead of whatever I was making. So, uh, and you had, and this is this was your your first getting your feet wet in three D printing. You were not a three D printer. Yeah, no, I was. So I took a class on three D printing, and I the day after that I saw this challenge, and I I'd never designed something. I'd never used a three D uh, design tool in my life. So, <laughs> yeah. Wow. So it's the fir it's the first. Uh, First design I've made, so and yeah, it looks it's and, pretty and, nice. And what do you do when you're not <laughs> making icosahedron uh, snowflake ornaments? <laughs> uh, I'm a I'm a software engineer, so in uh, Seattle. So I um, heard some. Oh, yeah. that <laughs> did. <laughs> yeah, of course yeah, you knew I, how to do this. <laughs> yeah, so I I know how to use you know computers, and I the tools came. I learned how to use the tools quickly, but it's yeah. yeah so and do you you don't have a MakerBot? This was TechShop. No, I, this was TechShop's MakerBot. Yeah. Um, I'd like one, but well, now I, get to, <laughs> now I get to actually surprise you and tell you we're adding a MakerBot onto the onto no the way, crowd. Really? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think okay, I think ahead. I think the audience will agree with me. Like, I can't wait to see good. what you do next. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, great. What will he do well, next? Well, now, yeah. Well, so the original plan was to make every snowflake different, um, but that was taking too much time. So maybe now I'll have time <laughs> <laughs> to do that. Great. But, uh, yeah. No, it, I mean, if that's your first thing, I mean, it, it's extraordinary. Yeah. Uh, and do you think this will, I mean, you, you are in tech already. Is this, is this, is 3D printing going to nudge you in one way or another and winning this glorious contest? Going to say, oh, maybe I should be a designer as well as a, an engineer? I, so I left my job uh, like a couple <laughs> months ago. <laughs> and I was actually in San Francisco um, for a couple weeks just designing things and uh, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I will head that way and do more design and more three D printing. I and and I'm told a Kickstarter you actually could happen any second. Exactly. <laughs> I think, uh, and, and and you're 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 prepared to, or you're looking to leave the West Coast, leave Seattle, and say move to New York. Yeah, I'd like to. I'm, yeah. uh, this is my second time. We've here. got a house for you, Paul. <laughs> no, yeah. we, we don't. Yeah. We don't. We don't. Yes. <laughs> um. Makerbot.com/careers. <laughs> Uh, but you really do, yeah. and and and, yeah. and you're looking for a job. Um, potentially, yeah. Really? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> is, is 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 New York now as a person deep in the tech world of New York? It has New York taken its place as a serious contender for people like Paul to come and do amazing things? Yeah, I mean, what I love right now is there's actually major nerd battles about where is the better place to develop, develop technology, New York or you know, uh, the Valley. And um, the fact that it's basically a, a nerd battle means that New York is the best place <laughs> yeah. to, to start a technology company or be a part of one. Well, it is interesting. I remember being in San Francisco like four years ago. And Suddenly, and everybody, every second person I met was talking about 3D printing. And I came back to New York and said, hey, you know about 3D? And people go, what? 
But but I think that has changed in no small part due to MakerBot's presence. You know, we 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 design MakerBots in Brooklyn and we assemble them in Brooklyn. We're really proud to be a New York City company. Excellent. <laughs> Paul Dragescu, thank you very much. Thanks. Enjoy your your MakerBot and uh, enjoy New York thank and you. and Brie Pettis. Thank you. We'll have oh. you back up here in a minute. Cheers. Great. Thank <laughs> you.